Brandon Deshaw here, Lab Director, Global Energy Labs. How are you guys doing? Do you have frac sand? One of the tests to determine whether or not you do is the crush resistance test. This is kind of a granddaddy uh, test. I guess a daddy test. A granddaddy would be the conductivity test. That is the, the big boy of testing. But this uh, crush resistance test uh, is a uh, important test. Uh, I love performing this one. It is fun. Um, big picture, what we're doing is we're taking a uh, small amount of the sieved down sand that you have. So let's say we're testing sand in the 30, 50 size range. Uh, we use sand from that size and we load up this test cell, which is basically a, uh, you could almost picture it as a, um, a piston with two pieces. One is the receiver piece, uh, and you load the sand into there. And then the, the piston um, is a separate piece that fits very tightly into that cylinder. And then you crush that uh, piston piece down onto or into the receiver bowl part onto the sand and you bring that up to uh, a certain pressure depending on what size you have there's recommended pressures uh, in the American Petroleum Institute standard and anyway you uh, over amount of time you raise the pressure in on the cylinder to that um, specific pressure using a hydraulic press and you do it for the time amount allotted in the procedure and then you sieve the sand again and you figure out how much uh, was crushed and fell out and how much held up to that pressure and from there doing that test multiple times you can develop what's called a K value and the K value is that which 90% uh, of your sand holds up to that uh, that pressure so I know that might not sound a little complicated but the k value is uh is what pressure your sand holds up to let's uh let's describe it as that a uh, couple things you want your lab to do if your lab is going to perform a crush test for you you want them to uh getting the sand into the receiver bowl part of the um of the cylinder is important to get that spread evenly. What, what, uh, what's recommended is using, um, I guess what we do to make sure that we get a level surface is we use what's called a pluviator and it basically lets the sand rain down into the cylinder. It's a special device and it makes sure that you have a real nice uh, level uh, sand. Um, and what that does is just ensure the accuracy and you want to make sure that the uh, the lab is a quiet, uh, sterile environment while you're doing it to prevent uh, distractions and um, and any other shaking, I guess, of the ground that could flaw the results. Uh, you just want good laboratory practices again during this crush test. 